Good day students, welcome to mathgoodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over our geometric constructions on how to copy a line segment. Alright, the instructions are follows. Um, using a compass and a straight edge, copy segment AB um, leaving all construction marks. Okay, so let's say that this is segment AB, let's label the endpoint, so let's say this is A and this is B. The goal is to copy, create a copy of this segment um, just using your compass and straight edge. Okay? Alright, and then we also have to leave all um, construction marks. Now the first thing we're going to do is create our starting point. Okay, so we have point A right here. We're just going to copy our point A. Just make a, a point where you want to start your uh, creation of the copy of um, segment AB. So let's put a point here and then we can call that A. Okay. Now what we are going to do is we're going to measure the length of this segment AB using our compass. Okay. And then when we um, use this measuring tool, namely our compass, to determine the length, then we are going to copy it onto um, this point right here. Okay, so let's call this point A prime. All right, now so you place the tip of your compass on A, and then we're going to go ahead and um, extend our compass up to point B. Okay. So the length that this compass spans is the length of segment AB. So what are we going to do with this length that we have just created? We're going to copy it onto um, the new point A prime. All right, so we're going to take our compass, place the pointy edge on A prime, and then we're going to create an arc here. Okay, so um, let's make it blue. Now the arc that we are creating right here is a collection of points that is A, B units away from A prime. Okay, so if we draw any line segment from this point to this arc is going to be exactly the same length as um, the length of segment A, B. How do we know? This is um, a radius. Think about this as a point, the center of a circle, and this is a portion of the circle. The distance from the center to the circumference of the circle is a radius and we know that the radius is constant for the entire circle. Okay, So it doesn't really matter how we draw the segment as long as we draw it from A prime to this arc it should have the same length as segment AB. Okay, So what we're going to do now is just take our straight edge and draw a straight line from point A prime right to the um, arc that we just drew. Now what do we name the point that is the intersection of the um, of the line segment we just drew in the arc? This point right here is point B prime. Okay now one thing you want to note when you're carrying out your constructions is that you can only use your pencils for points and that's it. Everything else should be done with your compass and straight edge. Okay. All right, so let's write down two remarks that indicates that we have accomplished the task. Um, using objects, segment AB is what? Segment AB is congruent to segment A prime, B prime. Okay, if we want to use lengths, we can say AB, which is the length of segment AB, is equal to A prime, B prime. So this is what we have just um, accomplished with the use of a straight edge and a compass. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of constructions and geometry, uh, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions about the contents of this tutorial or any construction questions um, in geometry in general, just place your questions in the comment section below and we will be more than glad to support you. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this and also visit our website for more great tools at mathgotserve.com. 
Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Good